200 shops yesterday. Uh, we brought you the story in um, uh, our bulletins that clearly pointed to the fact that this seems to be coming an annual event, an annual ritual, where shops in and around the second-hand market area seem to go up in flames getting to the latter part of the year. Same thing happened the year before last year, and it looks as though this year, same has been recorded. And 24 hours after the fire broke, what's the latest? Uh, Armstrong Gold Alugbe is our man who's been following this. He's joined us of our phone for an update. Uh, Joseph, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Paint a picture for us what you saw yesterday when there was fire, and then today that we are told the fire has been completely doused. Yeah, Martin, so currently here at the Katamantu Market, you see uh, uh, many of the traders and also the Kayaye trying to salvage a little from the debris uh, left here. And, uh, you know, these are used clothes, you know, second-hand clothing, and people are trying to see how they can uh, get some of the ones that were not completely bent and probably take home. And we want to see a lot of the market women in queue, and they are being registered. I'm told the are, are details are being taken so that the government or in the near future, accompany them as a, uh, when the money is available. Also, we are told the regional minister and all MPs of Greater Accra and the mayor of Accra are on their way here. We are still waiting patiently for them. I've seen ECG here trying to disconnect uh, some um, power here. I mean, this happens every year. Every year when this is happening, you see them coming around to do this disconnection. Meanwhile, I'm sure they are very much aware of the situation here. Uh, so they are moving from shop to shop trying to disconnect other shops that still have power who have done illegal connection. I've also seen the Ghana Water Company also here trying to see people who have been uh, illegally connected onto the uh, Ghana Water Company without uh, having a meter. So that's what is happening here currently, Martin. Right. And, and do we still have fire officials there? Yesterday they said that they had brought the whole situation under control. Are they still there? Are they gathering further information? Have they been able to ascertain what the cause of the fire was? So today I've first seen even a senior fire officer here at uh, North. Uh, I can see some pockets of fire still around. There's uh, smoke uh, rising out from some of the uh, containers and also from under the debris. Uh, but not even a senior fire officer is here currently. I mean, Katamantu is back to life again, walking from the main entrance of Katamantu down to where the fire engulfed the place. You see, they've taken over the street again. One thing I noticed was that when they, it was announced that the regional minister was coming here, the people who have taken over the main road and still on the road started moving their things, meaning they know very well that where they are selling is wrong. And also that family is very much aware that where these people are selling is wrong, but they come and take the taxes from them. But today, because the regional minister is coming here, they've announced ahead of the coming of the regional minister, and immediately the people are moving from the street. So Katamata is back to life again, and probably if this investigation again goes inconclusive for us to know the main cause of this fire, this year, this thing likely may happen again because last year it happened, last few years it happened, and the market men here, uh, even uh, one out of four, they don't even know what to say again because for them, they are now calling for the reconstruction of uh, the Kataman to Agubulushi and then also the Mokola market so that this fire uh, reoccurring every year will be a thing of the past. All right, thank you very much, uh, Joseph Gold Armstrong.